Hi. Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So US GDP came in pretty much as expected, a slightly little bit below some forecast, but nevertheless, the market has taken it to be relatively positive. It actually started off going a little bit negative, but then managed to work its way back up to the top. Actually closing above 17,747, but still below the moving averages. Almost got a bullish cross on the MACD. Not really expecting a huge blast off this morning, albeit most global equity markets are grinding slightly higher, especially the UK 100. Commodity markets are reeling. Um, more sell-off in China, not that aggressive, but like one, two percent. Some of those markets, um, copper languishing at multi-year lows and everything else. So um, there's actually a fair amount going on, especially in the, in the world of commodities. Um, FX-wise, mm, it's a little bit flat. Not not a huge amount happening. So 6686 on the UK 100 is potential resistance. We failed to break through it yesterday. We failed to break through it again so far this morning. As I said, it's grinding a little bit higher. Bullish cross from the MACD. Um, if we do get a, a move above 66.86, then 67.71 probably is maybe still, in the, it looks like it could still be in play, uh, which would also coincide with that 55 period SMA that we have on there. And um, that would give us still this pattern of lower highs here. So you've got your high, high, and then a slightly lower high. We wanted to be uh, getting above the tips of here so we could reach out on 69.06. So moving on to Japan, 2.25. Um, sideways market pretty much bounced nicely off 20,087. We're still in the middle of two ranges. Longer term potential resistance 20,868. And um, where we go next with dollar yen? So dollar yen was doing decent. Went up to 124.60 yesterday morning, only to come off slightly after the GDP figure kind of disappointed a little bit. It was still pretty decent to be fair. I think they were expecting 2.7, it came out at 2.6. Um, this is not usually a great candle formation to have, um, quite similar to a doji, a graveyard doji formation, but we've still pushed up higher this morning. 124.42 is the next potential resistance. So crude oil uh, back on the on the, on the down low, um, it's trading at the bottom of its range right now. 45.85 is the next potential support. We've talked a lot about crude oil and the fundamentals. So gold looks to be close to breaking out this potential symmetrical triangle formation, which if it does, and it is a proper technical break, that could open up 1,046 as potential support. Now, I think everybody's now getting on board with the idea that the Fed could raise rates by um, 25 basis points in September. Um, a couple of months back, you know, people were talking about September and December for two different uh, 25 basis points rise. That's what we're going to be looking for in regards to uh, economic data as it comes out of the US if it surpasses a lot of expectations. So finishing up with the euro dollar and GBP USD. So euro dollar in the middle of two ranges. One spot 11 is potential resistance. One spot 0786 is potential support. Technical are relatively neutral. We're trading below both moving averages. Uh, I'm looking at the intraday charts. Euro dollar is probably not that exciting, if I'm completely honest. Um, jumping on to cable, it's also in the sideways moving market, oscillating around one spot, 56. Two tips of these candles on here as well uh, are indicative that the selling pressure's probably got a little bit more to it than the, than the buying on the opposite side. But uh, until it breaks one through 156, one direction or the other, um, cable hasn't that got that much excitement in it either. So economic data wise, um, at 10 a.m. UK time, we've got Eurozone CPI. That could be interesting for Euro dollar. Not much else for today. Saturday brings you uh, PMI data from China. Um, Monday, you've got loads of market serve PMI data for Germany, Eurozone UK and US. And then you've got domestic auto sales then as well. Um, so I guess most people are probably looking at commodities today as the sell off in China begins to accelerate. Um, not you might happen in FX, but uh, commodities is probably where most of the action is today. So keep your eye on the chart for me, again, so it's probably later going forward. And join me again on Monday to find out what happened next.